Hi guys, this is Devaki from Igno Arantapur, welcoming you to this audio session. Keeping everybody safe during coronavirus outbreak, which is happening throughout the world, and to minimize the impact of it on students, Igno is adopting to the change and coming with audio sessions as part of teaching and learning process. This may not be a substitute for counseling classes, but it helps you to prepare for the exam by making use of the resources available with you. IGNO Study Center 0106 was started in 1988 with a strength of 50 at SSB and Degree College Autonomous Sanantapur, Andhra Pradesh. Since then, the study center has taken a giant leap and at present it offers about 72 undergraduate, postgraduate, diploma and certificate programs. Mr. M. Murli Mohan Reddy, coordinator with four members of support staff are available for the student support services at this study center. This audio session is going to deal with CBS. This certificate in business skills program has been developed jointly by IGNO, Rajiv Gandhi Foundation and Commonwealth of Learning, Vancouver, Canada. The main objective of this program is to enable NGOs and other agencies to develop business skills among the street children. This is a vocational program as it gives more emphasis to self-employment. This certificate program makes the learners competent in the areas of business communication, entrepreneurship, basic computer knowledge, business organization and accounting. As a computer science faculty, I am going to discuss about the laboratory course CITL001. This course comes with two blocks. Let us explore each block separately. The objective of first block is introducing to the operating system and its installation, providing the acquaintance with fundamentals of C language, basic word processing which helps you to manage office documents, Microsoft Excel which makes you to handle the numerical tasks in an office. Now let us start with the first unit. This unit makes you to learn how to install an operating system. Before you know the installation process, first you should know the basics of operating system. In your previous programs, you might have learned the term hardware and software. Here we are concerned with the term software. Software is broadly categorized into two categories, that is application software and system software. As this unit deals with operating system, I am restricting to the system software. Let us start our discussion by defining operating system. An operating system, commonly abbreviated as OS, is a system software whose job is to act as an interface between the computer hardware and user. An operating system is a software. Every computer must have at least one OS to run other programs. An application like Chrome, MS Word, Games, etc needs some environment in which it will run and perform its tasks. The OS helps you to coordinate with the computer without knowing how to speak the computer's language. It is not possible for the user to use any computer or mobile device without having an operating system. An operating system is a software which performs all the basic tasks like file management, memory management, process management, handling input and output, and controlling peripheral devices such as disk drivers and printers. We can say the OS as a traffic controller which is going to take all the instructions that has been given by the user and going to direct the instructions to the suitable peripheral devices for handling them properly. In broad sense, the operating system functions are categorized as three. They are, first one is convenience. An operating system makes a computer more convenient to use. The second one is the efficiency. An operating system allows the computer system to use the resources in an efficient manner. The third one is the ability to evolve. An operating system should be constructed in such a way as to perform the effective development testing and introduction of new system functions at the same time without interfering with service. Another important function of operating system apart from the above three is to provide help for running applications 
on the hardware which may be either on your computer or mobile it provides services to the application programs and the users applications access these services through apis whereas users through cli or gui guys you are all using smartphones right the environment which enables you to access the apps in your mobile is nothing but the os there are so many examples for operating systems some among them are windows linux android ios mac os etc as this is the laboratory course the unit emphasizes on installation process of windows and linux operating systems first let us deal with windows operating system windows operating system is the most popular and successful operating system from microsoft this is a gui the ms dos which was used before windows is a cli where the user need to type in each and every command windows provides a user friendly environment where the user need not to key in anything only pointing and clicking method is used by using the mouse the basic features of operating system so let us list out the operating system features that is speed compatibility lower hardware requirement search and organization safety and security interface on desktop task bar and start menu there are different versions of windows operating system now the latest version is windows 10 now let us see the installation process of windows operating system before we learn the installation process let us see what are the system requirements the minimum system requirements are 233 megahertz processor 64 mb ram video adapter and monitor super vga with 800 into 600 resolution 1.5 gb or higher hard disk drive with free space cd rom drive or dvd drive keyboard microsoft mouse or compatible pointing devices sound card speakers or headphones guys let me explain the installation process in brief you can make use of your course material provided by igno as it is self explanatory while practicing insert your windows xp bootable disk press f2 at the logo screen you will enter into the boot menu from the boot device menu select boot from cd the installation process will start then accept the license agreement and begin the setup next comes the partition in phase delete the current partition and allocate the required amount of space in the hard disks for c d etc begin the installation choose the type of installation whether it should be ntfs with partitioning or just ntfs partition and now allow the system to finish the installation after a part of installation is completed choose the time zone and wait for the final core windows installation once the installation is completed adjust the display resolution and create the login user details for the security that's it the windows xp installation is completed windows operating system comes with a rich set of utilities a utility software is a software designed to help to analyze configure optimize optimize or maintain a computer some among them are winrar paint.net etc you can explore for more while you are working now let us move on to the linux operating system linux is an open source freely available unix like operating system it initially released by linus torvalds 
on September 17, 1991. It is a free and open source operating system and the source code can be modified and distributed to anyone commercially or non-commercially under the GNU General Public License. Initially, Unix is created for personal computers. Gradually, it is developed for all. Because of its speed, stability and low cost, Linux became fastest to growing operating system for servers. Today, Linux is widely used for both the basic home and office users. Guys, do you know Android which we use in our mobiles is based on Linux kernel. It is the biggest success of Linux. Now let us explore the features of Unix operating system. The important features are low cost. As we know, Linux is an open source software. No need to spend huge amount. Stability. Linux has high stability compared with other operating systems. That is, you won't get rebooting issues. Performance. Linux provides high performance as it has the ability to handle large number of users simultaneously. Networking. Linux provides a strong support for network functionality. Flexibility. It can be used for any type of applications. Compatibility. It runs all common Unix software packages and can process all common file formats. The Linux installation is very easy and fast as it comes with user-friendly installation. It uses its resources very effectively and at the same time it can handle many things at the same time. Now let us see the installation process of Linux. The minimum requirements are 300 MHz x86 processor, 64 MB of system memory, RAM, at least 4 GB of disk space for full installation and swap space, VGA graphics card capable of 640 and 480 resolution, CD-ROM drive, or network call. Guys, you have already learned how to install Windows operating system. So in the same way, you can install Linux operating system also as it comes with user-friendly environment. Similar to Windows, Linux also comes with some utilities and it also has some commands that can be used with its CLI. Let us list them. Some among them are alias. It is used to substitute a small or more familiar name in the place of a long string. It is commonly used for a long string that are frequently used. AWK. AWK utility is powerful data manipulation or scripting programming language. The use of AWK to handle complex tasks such as calculation, database, handling, report creation, etc. Some more commands of Linux are cd, chmod and so on. Let us conclude this unit by discussing about the questions that may be expected in your lab exam. From this unit, you may be asked to explore different options available in Windows and to run some commands on Linux.